go, go. While rectangular form to phaser form and vice versa, and you got a NYX screen, implements Ohm's law totally for A phase, B phase, and three phase. Three phase, right there. Three phase. Three phase. Three phase. Not C phase, but three phase. And it will plot single and three phase as I go. And here's the demonstration. Okay, let's look into this phaser app. Extreme phaser. Let's demo the first screen. Here we have rectangular form and phaser form. Rectangular form is always in A plus JB form, so for the A value, let's just input three. For J, we will input four. Three is the real value, four stands for the imaginary component. Now let's head down and just click enter. Here it shows in the phaser form that the magnitude is five, at an angle of 53.13 degrees. That is how you convert from rectangular to phaser. You can do the same vice versa. Now let's head back to that first screen. And let's say here we're given a voltage of 20, that is the magnitude, at an angle of zero degrees. And for Z, we are going to say the impedance Z is 3 at an angle of negative 45 degrees. Let's head down here, click enter. That will solve for the current. Now you'll notice there's a VA, a ZA, and an IA. All the A's represent is the reference phase for the A phase and three phase calculations. I will show that pretty soon. Now let's click plot single phase and here you see the red phaser stands for the voltage its magnitude and it is at an angle of zero degrees the orange arrow is the current it is shorter because its magnitude is smaller and it is leading its angle is leading let's head back to the previous screen click plot three phase now you'll see the orange and the red arrow are still in the same spot, but now you'll see a long green arrow and a long blue arrow representing the voltage for the B and C phases. Here we have A, B, and C. The smaller arrows represent each of their individual currents. Now with respect to A, the green voltage arrow is 120 degrees offset meaning it is lagging A by 120 degrees. The blue arrow is lagging A by 240 degrees. Let's head back one last time. Click sign plot. Here is the sign plot over continuous time for single phase and three phase. Now here we can zoom in, look into our graphs a little more closely, and if we want to go through larger values of T. We'll just scroll like this. Notice that the magnitude of these curves is the voltage that we have right here, the magnitude times square root of 2 because when we're dealing with phasers this magnitude right here is the RMS voltage for the example, RMS current for example. But back on the plot, voltage is a little bit higher so when we're at home in our wall sockets we have 120 volts it is actually the V max will be say 167 volts now that concludes the tutorial for our app uh -huh.